good afternoon, it's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's end of day trading session, the uh, 25th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so European market data of close. The uh, stats here, folks FTSE finishes at 7435, up 57. DAX finishes 12264, 55. CAC finishes 5161, up 33. So overall, European markets certainly pushing high on the back of number one. Uh, obviously, uh, dovish comments from Mr. Mersh, okay, saying that the and also on the IMF reiterated that as well that the uh, that the ECB need to continue with their QE program and certainly no um, no pulling back. Although the euro did actually uh, uh, certainly uh, swoop as high as uh, above 1.17 before it retraced back to 1.1650. So that's interesting. Um, that may well be more towards a uh, dollar-related move as opposed to a euro-related move. The European equity is certainly doing well on the back of German IFO, certainly beating expectations. French data certainly coming coming in, business climate coming in stronger than expected. German import prices came in weaker than expected, which again obviously reinforces the fact that the QE needs to continue via the ECB. Industrial sales and industrial orders out of Italy, Italy certainly stronger than expected. UK CBI industrial trends certainly coming in stronger than expected again, all reinforcing and helping the FTSE. Copper prices certainly spiking today. Uh, copper certainly helping the equity market uh, more than I expected, to say the least. I did get stopped out my FTSE short position today as well. Daily chart of copper, you can see quite a substantial uh, green candle today, hitting that uh, potential pivot top at 2.85. Now, if we break out past this on the daily chart, the next weekly chart of resistance you're looking at is, let me just update these candles, or this chart, should I say. Okay, so the next key resistance is going to be around the 2.9 to 3 level. It's quite an impressive move on the uh, cop price of copper today. Very, very impressive. Okay, so certainly boarding well for growth. When copper starts to move higher, it generally signifies growth. And that certainly does bode well for the equity market. So bear that in mind, okay? Certainly something to ponder over and consider. <clears throat> also in the, in the price of oil, certainly pushing higher as well, breaking past that key resistance at 47.5. And as you can see here, certainly still pushing higher. If we continue to push higher, then you are looking at the next key resistance on the daily chart is around 52. The 200 MA obviously comes in at 51. So very impressive move on oil as well. And that certainly is supporting the equity market, especially the FTSE today. We are looking forward to Mr. Haldane at 6 p.m. So watch out. Um, we should have had comments from him by now. Nothing has come out as, as of yet. So keep an eye out for Mr. BOE Haldane's comments with regards to uh, BOE uh, policy going forward. But if any signs of a dovishness, that will obviously send the FTSE higher. So bear that in mind as well. Okay, so um, in terms of other economic data, US data really was mixed. Uh, we had stronger consumer confidence. Uh, Richmond Fed certainly came in stronger, but house prices uh, certainly came in the weaker side. Uh, Red Book certainly came in in line. Uh, now we're looking forward to uh, the uh, well, basically uh, oil data out at 9.30 p.m. and that will really be the market mover. Concerns over Trump certainly remain. Trump investigation ongoing. Talk of Mr. Sessions as well, potentially being sacked and fired. Uh, also in terms of um, the uh, health care vote as well, that certainly is going to be uh, uh, very volatile too. So certainly keep an eye on that. In terms of the European equity, let's see exactly where we finished on the daily chart. The German DAX, stronger IFO. Certainly triggering a short squeeze, but nothing substantial, which is quite concerning. Uh, I would have expected more of a move. Okay, so again, I'm looking for 12,500 really on my uh, on my chart here, 12,500, currently 12,260. So we need to take out this key resistance at 12,320 first of all before we can have any concerted move higher. So bear that in mind in the German DAX. 60-minute chart at the moment, holding previous support equals resistance. So let's take out those resistance lines. Let's t try and test that 12,400 and potentially higher. On fill gap remains at 12,590, so bear that in mind. Okay, moving on to the French CAC now. French CAC certainly finding weakness towards the close. Daily chart at the moment, more of an inside bar, bear flag scenario down to gap fill. So just bear that in mind too. So a potential gap fill certainly pending. 60 minute chart, we held FIB 61%, and obviously we started to retrace towards the close. Okay. 10 minute chart at the moment, certainly retracing as you can see towards the close. Okay, certainly pushed higher from that 5120, certainly an impressive thrust higher. In terms of Euro stocks, in terms of European indices, let's just quickly go over Euro stocks as well. Daily chart, certainly bouncing of that key gap fill level. 60 minute chart, health of 61%, 200 MA, certainly retracing. Any retracement, really, you are going to find some support down here. 
you go to the 10 minute chart okay so you're looking at support around the 3460 level let's see how the market unfolds from there okay in terms of the FTSE 100 let's have a look here weekly chart so trading within that channel daily chart at the moment holding an inside bar you can see we consolidated within the red candle bearish inside bar sign looking to potentially reverse and retrace 60 minute chart held resistance at 61 percent therefore one would presume you are now looking to head south 10 minute chart close the gap gap fill at uh, 7453 and then start to reverse so interesting interesting setup at present okay on the FTSE 100 so that's where we stand okay folks that's where we stand so european indices you have uh, just to bear in mind that you do have an unfilled gap on the FTSE 7380 so if mr boe haldane certainly disappoints and you are looking to reverse lower okay so on that note i think that's a wrap up be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs certainly take advantage of the bonus and be sure to visit trade signal download the latest app goodbye now